The Pied Piper of Hamelin by the Brothers Grimm Once upon a time, on the banks of the River Weser in Germany, there was a town called Hamelin. The people of Hamelin lived in big stone houses built on cobbled streets. They were kind and hard-working people. Over the years, the town became rich. The people ate well. They dressed in fine clothes. Children's laughter rang out in the streets. It was a happy and peaceful place to live. Things were about to change. Hamlin had always had rats. But it was not a big problem because they had cats, too. Lots of cats. And the cats ate the rats. But now there were more and more rats. The cats could not eat them all. Suddenly, there were swarms of rats all over the town. The rats ate everything. They ate the food the people had stored for winter. They ate the food in people's houses. Then they ate the cats. They ate through cloth and wood. They gnawed everything in their path. The people brought in more cats. They put down rat poison. Nothing worked. The people of Hamlin were very scared. They crowded around the town hall and begged the mayor to do something. The mayor sat in his room with his advisors. He did not know what to do. We need more cats, said the mayor. The rats ate all the cats, said one of his advisors. What about more poison? Someone asked. The poison did not kill them, answered the mayor. Suddenly, there was a knock at the door. In walked a tall, thin man. He was wearing bright green and red clothes. He wore a little green hat with a long feather in. He was carrying a long, golden pipe. I can help, he said. I am the Pied Piper. I have rid many towns of rats. If you pay me 1,000 florins, I will rid Hamelin of rats in one day. 1,000 florins? If you can rid us of all the rats in one day, I will pay you 50,000 florins, said the mayor. It's a deal, said the Pied Piper. By this time tomorrow, there will not be a single rat in all of Hamelin. With that, the Pied Piper left. The mayor and his advisors all looked at each other in surprise. Could he really rid Hamlin of the rats? And in just one day? The next day, as the sun was rising, the people of Hamlin heard the music coming from the long golden pipe. The Pied Piper walked through the streets of Hamlin. The notes from his pipe filled the air. Up and down the cobbled streets he walked playing his pipe. He went in and out of houses, and the rats gathered behind him. There were big rats and small rats, gray rats, brown rats, black rats. They came out of gutters and drains. They came out of windows and chimneys. In front of them all, the Pied Piper played his long golden pipe. He played and played. He walked towards the great river Weber, and the rats followed. When he reached the river, he waded into the water up to his waist. The rats followed him into the river. Soon, all the rats had drowned. By the time the sun was setting on Hamlin, there was not a single rat left in the town. The people of the town were so happy, they danced in the street. They lifted the Pied Piper high on their shoulders and carried him through the town. The Pied Piper went to the mayor to ask for his 50,000 florins. 50,000 florins? shouted the mayor. It is far too much for a single day's work. Then a thousand florins, said the Pied Piper. The rats are dead and gone and can never come back, said the mayor. Take 50 florins and be grateful. 50 florins, said the Pied Piper. You promised 50,000. The Pied Piper became very angry. He pointed his finger at the mayor and said, You will regret breaking your promise. He walked out of the room. 
The advisors were afraid, but the mayor said, What can he do? He cannot bring back the rats. As the sun was rising the next morning, the Pied Piper once again played his long golden pipe. The notes floated through the town, but this time only the children heard it. Again, the Pied Piper walked up and down the cobbled streets. Children of every size and age came out of their houses and followed him. The Pied Piper played his pipe and walked out of the town and into the forest. He played faster and faster. He walked faster and faster. The children walked faster and faster behind him. But one little boy, Tommy, was lame. He could not walk fast. He was being left behind. When he came to a large cave at the bottom of a hill, the Pied Piper played his pipe louder. All the children walked into the cave to follow the music, except Tommy. He was left behind. When all the children were inside the cave, a huge landslide came down and blocked the entrance to the cave forever. Tommy was very scared. When the landslide had finished, he limped back to the town. The people of the town were frantic with worry about their children. When Tommy came back, he told them what had happened. Tommy led them back into the forest, but they never, ever found the cave again. Now, the streets of Hamlin are empty and quiet. The people can no longer hear the sound of laughing children. <laughs>